All right, today's, um, at the, this year's Anything Goes, um, the photo I brought for the film category um, is one that I was taken with this um, large format camera. Large format takes four by five uh, sheet film. Um, and uh, one of the reasons that I had for getting into four by five uh, uh, was to get better quality uh, pictures, to be able to make uh, sharper pictures and pictures that were able to be enlarged uh, more uh, without uh, uh, picking up uh, film grain. In the old days of film, that was the way you had to get better quality, was to actually get a bigger negative. And so that was my inspiration for wanting to get a large format camera. Um, and so um, that was sort of a dream until Joanne uh, gave me this uh, camera kit as a gift in the mid-80s. Um, it came as a you know, box of wood and, and uh, uh, brass fittings and screws and bolts and a set of instructions. And um, it was a great project to actually finish the wood, polish it, uh, 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 get the brass right, glue everything together, and then, of course, uh, uh, go find a lens for it. It comes without a lens. And the lens is really a, a, a great, um, um, that, that's what makes the, makes the picture. And so you, it's a special kind of lens, and so it, it required a trip into um, the used camera stores in, uh, in Cambridge, which is a lot of fun in and of themselves. So the, the gist of a large format camera is that it's a, it's a, uh, a protected um, uh, dark space inside here. And you have a, a film holder. Let me just step aside here. Uh, this would be the film holder and your film would go right here. This slide will open up to allow you to put the film in. It's locked right now so that you don't open it up by accident. This lets you put the film in, you load it up through the side here, and then you, this is in the dark of course, then you put this slide back. This makes a box then that holds the film, fits into the back of the camera. When you're ready to take the picture, you have everything set up, you take this out for a minute so you can see through the thing, and get your film set up and uh, your uh, photo set up and focused, um, and then uh, you put this in and remove that slide and then the film is exposed to whatever comes in through the lens the minute you trip, trip the shutter. The photo I took, um, I had it loaded with uh, uh, slide film, um, transparencies, uh, um, Fuji uh, Chrome uh, Velvia film, which has its own set of problems. I mean, you can't develop it at home, you have to send it away to get developed usually and so on. Uh, the subject was the back door of an art supply store in Cambridge where the staff over time had applied various uh, stickers that came probably with the packages that they loaded in the back door and um, at some point they were told I believe to remove those stickers and when they did you could see the areas where the door rusted the uh, stickers themselves protected the door from the rust and so that's what gave me these odd patterns um, of course, rust is, of itself has great appeal to me, but rust that has odd patterns has even more appeal. Hence, you've got this abstract picture that really is not, it is a faithful and high quality representation of what that door is, but it looks all wacky, and so that is uh, ideal for my kind of photography. So, thanks for listening.